Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and it's time for another Tips for Lolling. Today we are looking at jungling for beginners, or at least a rehash of the jungling since it has changed now that we are into the makings of season three. There are a few different changes that have happened, so I decided to delay this video until they did some of these larger changes. But today we're we'll be looking at a few different things that are going to be affecting us um, from what changed from prior seasons to what's happening now with items, um, new leashing, and just kind of some maybe some new techniques and some ideas behind jungling for some of us who either don't do it too often or are just looking to see what maybe has changed and what some new strategies might be. First, of course, are item changes that have now happened in the jungle. In previous seasons, you were able to start with multiple items that were effective in the jungle. Many characters were known to take cloth armor and pots, boots and pots, vampiric scepter, and even regrowth pendant and pots. With the removal of the regrowth pendant and a rework of how the new items are created, there is a bit of a different path for junglers to take now. With the introduction of the Hunter's Machete, this item now makes it effective for all jungles to start with almost the exact same item. Also, with the buffing of every champion's base move speed being increased by 25, it's less likely that you'll need to start with boots and pots while in the jungle. Now you can start with a Hunter's Machete and five pots and be effective and build this into new items that are going to be working for both attack damage champions in the jungle, AP champions in the jungle, and also tanks in the jungle. One of the next larger changes in the jungle is how leashing works now. Leashing before was simply one hit by a, a champion on your team to help bring the aggro off of the monster in the jungle and then you would be able to attack it and get hits off before it would switch to you. Now the monsters in the jungle switch to you immediately or the closest target attacking it. Simply, new leashing should work as follows. You should have teammates on your team help you take out damage on your first buffs while you are taking the damage for your team, but they are at least helping you with dealing some damage so you're able to kill it faster. Although leashing has changed and has created a slight problem for some junglers who do not get strong leashes from their teammates, the jungle is a bit more rewarding than it was before. It is now almost as viable to sit in the jungle and farm effectively and gain experience just as fast as in lane. Although with these changes of it being effective to sit in the jungle and farm, it is still very important that you do consider ganking. Ganking, when at the proper times, is going to be a great boost to your team when it comes to winning games. A few other things to consider while you are jungling is if the enemy team does not have a jungle. Don't forget to be giving your buffs to players on your team if you are able to go and take enemy jungle. It's never a bad thing to wander over if you know the enemy jungler is on the other side of the map or currently is dead. Stealing their buffs creates huge issues for their team and can affect their ganking on your team. Another thing you might need to remember is how to take care of your lanes while you're ganking. Successful ganks involve you not dying or feeding them kills while you are getting kills for teammates in your lane or you yourself. Also, if the enemy team does not have a jungler and they have a dual top against a solo top on your team, you need to make sure you go addressed your top lane and make sure that they have all the help they need. This will be a tougher lane for them to win, but luckily if they level up slightly faster since they are solo and you're in your jungle, you should gain a level advantage against them and be able to do effective a ganking. One other thing to remember is wards on the enemy team. If they have warded in the middle of the river so they can negate you from ganking, you need to remember that you can gank from other methods, either from coming around or by buying in oracles and de-warding. These are just a few tips that can help you if you're newer to jungling or if you're just wanting to see how the new jungle is working. But other than that, guys, use these tips and it should help you become a better jungler.